So unless you guys have been living under a rock, you guys would already know that Apple did release the dates for the Worldwide Development Conference, or WWDC, for 2013, where OS X 10.9 will be taking place, and hopefully iOS 7, but more than likely it will be. So guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get ranting. So guys, the event will be taking place on June the 10th to June the 14th, and a lot is expected from Apple, as this is a big year for them. A lot of the competitions are catching up with them. The HTC One and the Samsung Galaxy S4 are already in front, and Android's really kicking ass this year. So guys, Johnny Ive is taking on software and is on board with WWDC iOS 7. So hopefully this is going to be a fantastic year for Apple. We've heard rumors that people are leaving OS X 10.9, which is soon to be the latest version of the desktop operating system for Mac desktops and is now moving to iOS. So hopefully this is going to be a big game changer. It's going to switch a lot of people back. But right now I'm leaning towards the Android side of things, mainly because of customization and whatnot. Speaking of customization, guys, it would be an absolute honor to see a lot more customization taken into iOS 7. This would be really good for a lot of Android users coming to iOS. I don't see why you would do that at this point of time, but a lot of features would be appreciated. So guys, we also need some quick, easy settings. That is one of the biggest things Android has and iOS does lack on. So it'd be absolutely awesome if you could just have a lot of settings on the home screen, the lock screen, slide down, because right now it just isn't cutting it for me. So guys, as much as we are ranting and want more and more and want to enjoy the iOS software more, it is actually going to be really hard for Apple to do this, because at the same time we want an enjoyable, easy and powerful at the same time software. So keeping easy software with customizations and all of that, it's going to be very tricky for people who are in advance with iOS or uh, really don't want to take on any more extra features. So Apple has to keep their customers rolling on guys by keeping it a very clean, simple interface at the same time. So guys, at this point of time, that's pretty much all I can say about iOS until it actually comes out and I can give you guys my thoughts. But the proper supported products I think will be for a definite will be the iPad 3 and 4 with Retina display, the iPhone 4, the iPhone 4S, and the iPhone 5, of course. And if they do release an iPhone 5S, that will also be with that, as well as the iPod Touch 5th generation. So guys, what I think might be included, I'm not sure about the 3GS anymore. The 3GS did take on iOS 6, but I'm not quite sure with iOS 7, as well as the iPod Touch 4th generation. So guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. And I hope that you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do so, and I'll see you in my next one.